Hey guys, it's Chris from Seed, and today we're gonna go over the top 10 Mustangs and Fords from Carlisle Ford Nationals 2021. Record-breaking year, and we're excited to show you some of those awesome vehicles. So let's dive in. Kicking off this list, first off, I wanna say absolutely no order to these cars. Uh, they're just all awesome, so I'll just work our way down the list. First off, we have the Ford GT Test Mule. From what we were looking at, it looks like that this Test Mule that was on display at the Ford Performance booth is more or less an aerodynamics car. Um, got really cool shots of it. I mean, it's it's kind of haphazardly put together. You can tell it's, it was a R&D test mule for these guys, and they did an awesome job with it because right next to it is that beautiful Ken Miles edition Ford GT. I actually saw two of those at Carlisle. Absolutely stunning vehicles. Those cars are amazing from front to back, the engine, the performance, everything about those vehicles, and it's awesome to see where it started and where it ended. Moving on is the new 2021 Mustang Mach 1. Now, I really couldn't pick just one Mach 1 because there were tons of them there. Ford actually had a few uh, handling pack Mach 1s, regular Mach 1s, as well as customer vehicles that were in the show field. One of our customers actually, a Steeda vehicle, Twister Orange Handling Pack 2021 Mach 1, running our dual rate springs, as well as a Borla Switchfire Resonator Delete Pipe you can buy right here at Steeda.com. It sounded awesome, it looked awesome, and on top of that, those Morimoto XB LED headlights. But perhaps the coolest Mach 1 on display was right there in the Ford booth. Our friends at Classic Design Concepts had their Mach 1 there, fighter jet gray with the shaker hood, they had their outlaw roof spoiler, they had their rear deck spoiler, the outlaw side skirts, and a couple other goodies on that car to really set it apart from your standard Mach 1. It was great to see the shaker hood in person, and I will admit, it looks right at home on the new 2021 Mach 1. Real big fan, and we'll be sure to offer that right here at CETA.com. Next up, a hot topic, the new Ford Bronco. For those of you that have made reservations, you're patiently waiting for those Broncos to hit dealership floors. We get it, we understand. It's just the nature of the world right now. But at the end of the day, got to see a two-door Bronco and a four-door Bronco on display at Carlisle Ford Nationals absolutely awesome. It is very true what they're saying. These trucks are modular. They actually had engineers on site showing attendees of the event how to take the roof off, how to take the doors off, how to do anything with this Bronco. And it's awesome to see the interest, the flocks of people coming to this vehicle. You can tell people are definitely ready to take these brand new Broncos right out on the trail. Personally, I was a little surprised. The four door was about what I expected in terms of length, width, height, um, you know, from all the pictures and videos we've been seeing about the Bronco over the last year. Um, but seeing the two door, I was actually surprised kind of how short it was, um, especially in comparison to like a two door Wrangler. Uh, but looking at the classic Broncos that were on display, it's very reminiscent of what the classic Bronco was. It's really cool when you see them parked next to each other how many styling and design cues they pulled from the classic Bronco. And frankly, that's the way it should be. Next up, probably one of my favorite cars to see in person. Uh, working at Steeda, I've seen lots of old heritage race footage of this 93 Cobra R race car, uh, but never actually seen it in person because Daria sold it a long time ago. But long story short, the 93 Cobra R that Dario and Steeda used to develop a lot of the parts that you see here at Steeda and at Ford Performance back in the day was right there at Carlisle Ford Nationals, the same car. It was really cool to see in person. It had a letter on display that Dario had wrote to the owner back in 1993 when they sold him the car. And uh, I mean, it, it was like a time capsule. The, the current owner kept it in great condition. Um, it has all the stickers. It says driver Dario Orlando on the top. Um, had a little model car on display on the engine bay. I mean, it was just obviously a time capsule and really, really cool to see that history right there in person. Speaking of Fox bodies, next up is Tim Foreman's 89 Fox body hatchback. This thing stood out to me in the midst of the giant line of Fox bodies out there, aside from the Steeda one, obviously, but 
This Fox body looked awesome. It had the patina look, kind of an Americana, Captain America look to it. It even had like the Captain America shield in the back uh, rear seat area. You could see through the rear hatch. Uh, it was really cool. And not to mention the Mach 1 styling cues that Tim had added into the car. I mean, you look at the wheels, it's got the Mach 1 wheels off the 0304 Mach 1. And on top of that, it even has the uh, shaker hood kind of molded into a Fox body hood, a Fox body cow hood, um, really looks pretty cool as I was walking up on it. Definitely stood out from the crowd and really love that build. As we kept walking, we came up on the California Special row at Carlisle Ford Nationals. And I've always been a California Special fan from the classic California Special all the way to present. Uh, with that said, came up on this really clean black 2012 California Special. Absolutely stunning. You can tell the owner really has great taste when it comes to modifications. Uh, it had GT500 wheels on it, uh, looked to be GT500 brakes, as well as uh, it was an NA build, um, had a Cobra Jet intake manifold, as well as a Ford Racing uh, intake. Um, I believe it had an aftermarket shifter on it as well. Just a really, really clean example, not to mention it's tough to keep those black cars looking beautiful. And this owner from New Jersey really knew what he had and, and takes great care of it. So stood out from the rest and I was a big fan of it for sure. Now we can't talk about Carlisle Ford Nationals without talking about classic Mustangs. I'm a big classic Mustang fan and this 69 Mach 1 was awesome looking. Great, pristine restoration. Not 100% sure what color was chosen, but it stood out from the crowd and it was right on the end of the row. I mean, you really couldn't miss it walking by and top notch restoration with some very tasteful modifications done, especially under the hood of the 69 Mach 1 by the owner Kirby. Great job. Moving on. Now we open this video up with the new Ford GT, but let's not forget our past, the Ford GT40. There were actually a few Ford GT40s right there at Carlisle Ford Nationals and it was really cool to see those in person. For those of you that may not know, the Ford GT40 name came from the fact that the car only sat 40 inches high off the ground, which isn't much at all. Pretty cool to see those cars in person, but specifically the GT40 that was on display used in the movie Ford versus Ferrari. They had a series of 32 different microphones that were used to record the sounds that you heard in the movie. That car was actually on display. We, they interviewed the owner uh, right there on stage. And uh, I wanna say there were maybe 18 or 20 microphones that were inside the car. The producers of the movie had such a tough time finding a GT40 owner, an original GT40 owner, that would let them use the car to record these sounds with all microphones and wiring running inside the car. But it was great they were able to find one because I'm a big fan of that movie and uh, it was really cool to be able to see the car in person. As you guys may or may not know, I am a GT350 fan and, and out of all of the 350s there that were at Carlisle Ford Nationals and there were probably dozens, dozens of them, um, all in different colors from 16 all the way up, uh, one of them stood out to me and that was specifically because he autocrossed the car. He drove it as it was intended. He had his race numbers up on the side of the car. Uh, you could tell there were some cone marks, some love marks from uh, racing uh, out on the autocross track. It was cool to see someone driving the car as it was intended to be. For that owner, keep it up, keep driving the car as it was supposed to be driven. And for those other uh, GT350 owners out there, Stop sitting in the garage and get out there and drive. Moving on to the last one of the top 10, the 2021 F-150. There were tons of them there, uh, mostly on display in the four different Ford displays, but uh, perhaps the, the coolest one that stood out to me was in the Cervenis booth. Jim from Cervenis had his 2021 F-150 there in iconic silver. Love that silver, love that color. Uh, but it would already had wheels and tires on it, already was lifted, and it had a brand new cow hood offered from Cervenis on the truck itself. Looks great, excited to be offering it right here at Cita.com and uh, definitely stood out from the crowd. In addition to that, the Gen 3 Raptor. The truck was launched earlier this year. Really, really awesome to be able to see it in person. Now, aesthetically, um, you know, the general size and everything else, it's very similar to the Gen 2 Raptor, but all of the aesthetics changed in terms of the headlights, the hood, all the design cues. Um, interiors revised, it's uh, obviously very similar to the 2021 F-150, the standard row going one, but the, uh, the Gen 3 looks awesome. 
Got an opportunity to get under it and see that new five link suspension in the rear. Uh, really is gonna help when you're uh, jumping sand dunes or whatever you do with those Raptors. But regardless, it was awesome to be able to see it in person. And uh, it's definitely cut above the current generation Raptors. So awesome job Ford and Ford Performance. Last but not least, the honorable mention, the Mach-E GT Performance Edition. It was really cool to be able to see this in person. I've personally been really excited about this next step forward in electrification for the Ford Motor Company, and it does not disappoint. The GT Performance Edition looks really cool in person. I know I keep saying cool because it is. Uh, the, the, the facts are there. I mean, you're talking about a 3.5 second zero to 60 time. Uh, what is it, 667 foot-pounds of torque in that Performance Edition, it, it's insane. Uh, with that said, the car looks like it sits low. It has a low center of gravity. It's got those big, big Brembo brakes up front. Um, all in all, I'm really excited to be able to get behind the wheel of one at some point because uh, it's definitely going to be impressive, no doubt. So with that said, this one was in rapid red and uh, you know had that low side profile thanks to the black roof kind of going down over the back. But all in all, it's gonna be awesome to see these things hit the roads and uh, ultimately the tracks. So be sure to stay tuned because we definitely have some plans for the Mach-E. Another awesome thing in Carlisle is that they actually have an autocross set up right in the back of the show field. Happens every year, I believe Friday and Sat Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Long story short, you're able to sign up. Anybody can sign up and get a good feel for what an autocross feels like. It's just a little track, but I believe they give out a trophy for the fastest time and it was really cool to be able to see cars out there uh, ripping it up, that's for sure. Overall, Carlisle Ford Nationals is definitely an event you should have on your bucket list. It really is the biggest all Ford show in the nation. It takes place in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, and it's usually the first weekend in June every year. So if it's anything like this year's turnout with the record breaking 3,200 and some registered cars, if I had to estimate 15, 20, 25,000 people, there were a ton of people there. It's great to see people out at events again. It was so nice seeing everyone. And honestly, I'm just excited for next year, not to mention the rest of the events this year. Let's get back to normal, let's have some fun. That about wraps things up. There were tons of neck breaking cars out there at Carlisle Ford Nationals this year. Which one was your favorite? Go ahead and comment below. Hit that like, subscribe button, and the notification bell so you get the notification on your phone next time a Steeda video drops. And don't forget the most important thing, speed matters.